This video is on the dividend pricing model. Now, this equation, this financial equation, is my favorite financial equation. And I'm really excited to make this video. So I'm going to put up the equation. Um, and it seems so simple. It seems like such a simple equation. But there's so much going on in it. And so I'm really excited to talk to you about it today. Now, before we get started, um, I want to recommend you go back and watch some of my previous videos, if you haven't already done so. Um, this is part of a video series on the core concepts of finance. And uh, my earlier videos are really setting the foundation for this video. So if you haven't already seen them, I highly recommend you go back and watch those earlier videos. So let's jump in to the dividend pricing model. And to understand this equation, you really need to understand some history. Um, this was first published um, by a paper by Myron J. Gordon in 1956. And um, he developed this equation trying to solve a very specific situation. And so he came up with the dividend pricing model. And what the dividend pricing model is, is it's a way to, to determine the price for a series of dividend payments. So here's the situation that he was looking at. Um, he was trying to find a way to easily and effectively value a certain type of financial opportunity. He was looking at big companies that pay large dividend payments. So when you look at a, a, a very large company, let's say a large capitalization U.S. company, um, one of the main drivers of why it might be a good investment is they would pay a large dividend payment. You know, they may not be growing as a company, but they're still successful, they're a reliable source of cash flow, and so every year this company generates a profit, um, it accumulates cash, and eventually that cash will get paid out to the owners. And the owners, in the sense of a corporation, are stockholders. So every year, this company is making dividend distributions of this excess cash it's accumulating. And the stockholders get a percentage of that dividend distribution based on the percentage of stock they hold. So when you're looking at that opportunity of, should I invest in purchasing this stock? for this dividend paying company. Um, how do I price that? How do I determine what's an effective price that I'd be willing to pay for the opportunity to partake in dividend distributions out into the future? And so that's what this equation does. It's based on the very fundamental economic idea that the price you'd be willing to pay for something is uh, the present value of the future benefits you're expecting to receive. So, um, in the case of dividend payments, you're going to expect to receive a set of dividend payments out to the future. And if you forecast that out, you can take each one of those payments, take the present value of that payment, of what it's worth to you today, based on your assessment of the risk or the uncertainty of that payment. And you can add those payments together and that will give you the economic value for you today. And that should be the price you're willing to pay for this opportunity. Well, that's what this equation does. And so um, what you can do with it is you, then you, you can you apply it to similar situations when you're making financial decisions. So you, know, you can take a couple of similar companies that are going to all, all pay um, different uh, dividends. 
You can figure out what that would be, and then you can compare those financial opportunities. And you get a sense of, you know, what's an effective price that I should be willing to pay for each of these? What price are those opportunities trading in the market? And are these smart financial decisions? So it creates a very scientific, a very mathematical, and a pretty simple way to calculate that out and calculate out what's the best opportunity for you. So what's happened over time is this, this, de this very narrowly defined definition of this dividend pricing model, it's expanded. Um, it's expanded to cover all kinds of financial opportunities because it's based on this very fundamental economic principle that the price you'd be willing to pay for something is the present value of a series of economic, future economic benefits. And if you define all those assumptions, you can, you can determine a price. The price that you're willing to pay based on your assumptions. And so it's applied to all areas of finance today. And when you start, look, uh, when you start learning about how investment banks work, how financial contracts are written, all of these things, it's quite shocking at how much this equation plays into all of that. It's a huge part of everything in finance. Um, so it's a very powerful equation to learn and to know how to use effectively. Um, so um, I'm going to make a couple of videos on the dividend pricing model. In the next video, we're going to walk through the equation in more detail and talk about the variables, and I'm going to show you some cool things you can do with it.